Stampers, it's Kim Vogel with the Basement Bunch Stampers, and I'm here today to show you a cute project that I made with a stamp set coming out in the holiday catalog. So this is one of my sneak peek projects leading up to the release of that catalog on um, September 1st. And I used a stamp set that is called Painted Harvest, and it is absolutely beautiful and stunning. And what I'm gonna show you today is how I stamped on tissue paper and how I got that onto these awesome candles. Um, I did a retreat this past weekend, and these candles were one of the gifts that I gave all of my attendees. Um, I also have some to-go kits available from the Make and Take and all of the prizes that I gave. So if you're interested in purchasing one of those kits, I'll have all the information on my website, but it would include one of these candles as well. So what I want to show you is the two different candles um, and how um, they look different, obviously. This one I used, the inks that I used on that one, were um, crushed curry and Cajun craze chocolate chip and then I used um, garden green and old olive for my leaves and I thought that one was kind of dark and so I decided to change it up a little bit and use different colors on this one and I love this one even better um, this one I used the same yellow crushed curry but I changed out the Cajun craze and I used the tangerine tango instead and then I got rid of the garden green for my leaves and went with old olive and pear pizzazz. Um, again, all of these details will be listed in my blog post. So in the description of this video down below, there will be a blog post that you can click on and have all the information there regarding um, this project in more detail. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and get started and show you how I created the one that looks like this. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring in my, my mat that I'm going to stamp on. This is just a piece of regular tissue paper, regular white tissue paper that you would buy from a local department store for wrapping up gifts and gift bags and things like that. And using one of the images from the stamp set, this is there's two different images for the flower. Um, and I'm going to be using the bigger one in the crushed curry, the smaller one I'm going to be using into the tangerine tangle. So I'm going to go ahead and ink this up. And I'm going to stamp right into the middle of my tissue paper. Pull that up. Okay. And then I'm going to bring in the tangerine tango ink. And I am stamping with my other my other image that kind of looks like it right on top of that. So there's my flower. Look how pretty. And that second stamp just brings this right to life. And there are so many different um, color combinations you can use this stamp for. And so I encourage you to kind of get creative with that. But there are so many. You could use two yellows. You could incorporate brown. So it's really kind of versatile in creating all of that stuff. Next, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be stamping um, the brown in the middle. And I actually use the chocolate chip. So let me bring in my chocolate chip ink pad. And I'm just going to stamp right in the middle of that flower like that. And then what I am going to do is I am going to be stamping my leaves. So let me find my leaves here. Bear with me, my stamps are all over the place because it does take a little bit of um, stamping, but it's fun. Um, and so these were really fun to make. Um, so what I'm gonna be doing is with my pear pizzazz, I'm gonna be stamping my solid green. Um, again, the leaf is similar. You have a solid one with another one that's just gonna give you a little bit of a pattern on it. So I'm gonna stamp with my pear pizzazz onto the tissue paper and you'll see that some of that's going off and that is completely fine because we're not going to be using it all you'll see that in just a moment um, then I'm going to be bringing in my old olive ink and I'm going to be changing out my stamp so this is now the um, the one I'm going to be stamping on top and I'm just going to line these up the best I can but look how that just kind of makes that pop as well um, this stamp set is called Painted Autumn, and it sells for $21, and so I encourage you to add this to your wish list. Um, I can see doing things in addition to just fall projects with this um, awesome stamp set. Okay, so now I'm going to let that dry, and I actually did one in advance, because um, what you're going to want to do after you do all of the stamping is you're going to want to cut around that, okay? So here's one that I've got done in advance. Voila, cut that out really fast. Um, and then I bought some candles at our local dollar store. I literally paid a dollar for these candles. And you're just going to kind of position this where you would like it to go. And you want to make sure that you have enough cut off that it's going to fit on that candle. So I'm going to actually bring in a pair of scissors and cut a little bit more of this greenery off. 
because again, I want this to fit on my candle without having any excess going over on it. So it looks like I'm pretty good right there. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your heat tool and your heat tool is gonna melt that tissue paper. It's also gonna melt a little bit of your candle, but it's okay. So what I have next to me that you can't see off screen, off my camera, is a piece of grid paper. So as I'm doing this and the candle starts to melt, I will be rubbing this across my paper just to kind of get that wax to go back flat. And um, I will zoom in close when I'm done to show you that. It, it does have a little bit of a ripple effect, but you really can't see it unless you look at it really, really close. So with that, I'm hoping you'll be able to still hear me as I do this, because I am going to be bringing in my heat tool. If you don't have Stampin' Up's heat tool, it's a must-have. I love it. Okay, so with that, I am going to just start to heat set this, and you will probably see some of the candle get a little um, waxy looking. Um, as it starts to melt a little bit, that's okay. It's supposed to do that. And I think it may have moved on me a smudge. And then I also kind of tap, tap, tap with my finger so that I can uh, make sure that this gets down really good. It's going to be hot, so you don't want to have a lot of time to do that. But my flower moved down a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little bit more of that off on the bottom. Um, you'll see. It's going to all turn out work really good. So once you think you might need to have it um, rubbed a little bit, I just literally kind of rub it across this piece of paper and that kind of makes it go flat again so that you don't have any bumps and lumps in it. And then I'm just going to continue heat setting where you, and it kind of reminds me of embossing where you can um, kind of see where it's melted and where it hasn't. So um, this leaf I don't have done yet. So, and then I might actually just kind of try to go on the end of it and get it to go down. Yeah, it worked good. Always a way to improvise. Okay, and with that, with that, the entire candle is um, all, this is all on there. So it looks like it's an actual image that you, it's like you, that you bought the candle that way, and I didn't. It is so beautiful. I then topped off my candle, my sample. Let me bring my sample back in. So this is my sample that I did. I then tapped it off with some of our lace trim, um, very vanilla ribbon. And voila, you have a very pretty cute little gift that you could give someone um, for a retreat gift or just because or for Christmas or teacher gifts, any of that sort of stuff. So anyway, I hope that when you receive your holiday catalog, you add this stamp set to your list. It's gorgeous and beautiful. And if you need a catalog, please let me know. Um, make sure you also comment on this video for your chance to win. Um, I'm going to be giving away um, actually one of these stamp sets come the beginning of the month just for commenting on my video because I absolutely love the stamp set and this project. Make sure you join my mailing list at kimsbasementbunch.com and thanks for stopping today. Have a great day.